Radical life extension could become a reality far faster than we think. Here are some ways it would change the world. Number one, humans could live for centuries at a time. Thanks to a combination of genetic engineering and nanobots, some of us could choose to reach the age of 30 and stay at that age for decades at a time. This would allow us to live long enough to use some of the coolest technologies to ever exist. We could merge with super intelligent AIs and experience what it's like to be millions of times more intelligent. We could experience photorealistic full immersion VR that changes second by second based on our desires. And we could upload our minds to new bodies and swap them out as needed. We could watch governments rise and fall. We could explore every country and city on planet Earth and we could explore other planets in the far reaches of our solar system. Number two, we could vastly outlive our grandchildren. Most likely, only a fraction of the population would want to live forever. We would have to watch as many of our closest friends and relatives slowly age year after year, while our physical appearances remain largely the same every decade. We could far outlive most of our best friends and siblings. We could watch our children grow into an old age right before our eyes. We could even vastly outlive our grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Some people would inevitably handle this paradox better than others. Number 3. Immortal people could have trouble adjusting to changes in society. Many of the customs, beliefs, and values of the people in the future could be totally weird and outrageous to people living today. For example, the customs and beliefs that we consider weird today could be magnified by a hundred times a few centuries from now. After hundreds of years, many of the laws that we deem crucial to a functional society could be discontinued, and new laws could exist that would seem completely ludicrous to us. We would certainly enjoy many of the technologies in the future, assuming we can afford them, but other aspects of living in the future may be too confusing and overwhelming to many of us. Over a period of centuries, the people staying alive for all of that time could start to be perceived as too old-fashioned to younger people. Immortal people could also harbor old beliefs, values, and preferences that wouldn't make sense in the futuristic world. It's kind of like someone from 1700s America living today. If that person from the 1700s walked through Times Square in New York City, the kind of people, outfits, and behaviors they would see would be totally unrelatable to them. Number 4. We would need to replace body parts on a routine basis. For example, the use of artificial hearts would be extremely common since biological hearts are often among the first organs to fail in the human body. An artificial heart could be engineered to operate twice as long as a regular heart regardless of a person's lifestyle. The longer we live, the more it would become necessary to replace other parts as well including eyes, arms, legs, digestive systems, lungs, and blood vessels. That's because we could still get injured from time to time and because some body parts will eventually wear out from decades of use. Many of these body parts could be 3D printed in our homes or in facilities that specialize in printing and harvesting synthetic body parts. By the end of this century, we could skip all of that entirely and replace our entire bodies from the neck down with robot bodies. It could become commonplace to see humans walking around in public that are more machine than human. These robot bodies could also provide varying levels of superhuman strength, speed, and durability. To take it a step further, we could also upload our consciousness to synthetic brains inside entirely new robot and synthetic bodies. As these bodies wear out, we could replace them with new bodies and continue doing so over many centuries or perhaps much longer. Some people could use this opportunity to conceal their identities and live multiple lives. In the far future, there may be no way of knowing whether someone is 200 years old or 10,000 years old. 
Number 5. The course of our personalities could completely change. After living for hundreds or even thousands of years and uploading our minds to countless bodies and machines, some of us could start to lose aspects of our personality that most define us. We may forget about major events that happened earlier in our lives, and we could forget things that we did. After meeting more people in our lifetimes than humans were ever meant to come into contact with, we may forget about close friends and relatives. For that reason, we would likely need to store the memories from our minds onto storage devices. Whenever we feel like it, we could experience those memories again using advanced brain-computer interfaces, holodecks, and virtual environments. Number 6. Dictators could wreak havoc on the world. Some of the most notorious dictators in history caused immense suffering to the world in only the span of 20 to 50 years. But what would happen if rulers like this were allowed to live hundreds of years? First of all, the people born into these societies would unfortunately be trapped in an unwinnable situation. Unless they can find a way to escape to another country, they would have to endure some of the worst aspects of living in a futuristic world. This includes 24-7 surveillance of their thoughts, unforgiving social credit systems that negatively impact how people treat each other, VR and brain-computer interface devices used for cruel and unusual punishment, and of course, military robots patrolling the streets. And these dictators could have some of the most advanced technologies to protect themselves, including force fields, bulletproof armor under their skin, and AI-based threat detection systems embedded into their minds. They would be practically untouchable in most situations, and they would make sure that their civilians wouldn't have access to those types of technologies. And even if these dictators did lose their lives, they could have multiple backups of their consciousness that could be uploaded to robot and synthetic bodies. Getting rid of these people could be one of the most difficult achievements in human history. On the same vein, eccentric billionaires, crime family bosses, cult leaders, and more would have access to life extension treatments as well. Number 7. Life extension treatment would become a trillion dollar industry. When it comes to nanotechnology, we would need a steady supply of nanobots to consume on a regular basis. These nanobots would work together to combat a wide array of viruses and bacteria as they enter our bloodstreams. Over time, these nanobots could become exponentially more effective than our natural immune systems. They could even completely repair cells, tissues, and organs. When it comes to genetic engineering, we could consume medications that change the instructions in our genetic code to prevent the aging process in multiple body systems. The time interval for consuming these medications could vary based on the manufacturer, the person's current biological age, and the tier of their overall life extension package. We could consume this life extending medication every month, every year, or every few years. In the distant future, one treatment session may prove to be enough. One downside is, we would live in a world where people are continually being born into it, but fewer people are leaving it. This could lead to overpopulation. Number 8. We could experience massive economic growth as more and more people choose to live forever. An increasingly high percentage of the population could be around the same age bracket. More than likely, people would choose to stay at a working age of 25 to 35. Presumably, these same people would choose to enhance their genetics so that they have superhuman cognition and endurance. This would allow them to become considerably more productive and give them a major advantage in the job market. The overall economy could experience a spike in growth as a result. But as a side effect, non-enhanced humans could be increasingly considered impractical in the job market and experience continual unemployment. However, here's something else worth considering. 
In the first years that radical life extension becomes possible, a large number of 50 to 90 year olds could choose to receive treatment for it. This would allow them to keep and accumulate massive amounts of wealth that would have otherwise been used in other ways in the global economy. This may lead to instability in many nations. Number 9. We could grow tremendous life fortunes. The longer we live, the more that investments in 401ks, index funds, cryptocurrencies, real estate, and digital assets could continue to grow indefinitely. Hypothetically, if we invested just $1,000 with a 5% annual return and then left it alone for 300 years, we would end up with over $6.5 billion. In reality, this number might not be quite as high because of changes to investment and banking rules over time. Perhaps governments will limit the number of years we can invest in certain assets as a response to so many people living for so long. However, the size of our investments could still be quite significant in some scenarios, but we should consider that the value of money could be significantly lower after that amount of time as well. During that time, replicators could become a mainstream technology. Hypothetically, replicators could create any type of object imaginable using atoms and molecules fed to them. This invention alone would dramatically disrupt financial markets on a global scale and could radically disrupt the entire capitalistic system. Number 10. Journeys to other solar systems would become more viable when it comes to long-distance space journeys that can take decades or centuries. Carbogenic preservation is often touted as a potential solution to make this physically possible. But most likely, we would need a rotating crew of a handful of people awake at all times to ensure that unexpected problems with the spacecraft don't occur. Normally, these handful of people would still continue to age, which could lead to a decent percentage of passengers not making it to their destinations. However, if humans can live forever, that would lower the overall risks associated with these long journeys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch this next video about the future of humanity.